Queuing up to the left, Rollins. Searle on a nice arc, on oh, the intercept. Exeter roaring forwards with their Rolls Royce. Henry Slade touches down, he read that to perfection. Try number five for the Chiefs, and a rueful look playing on the face of Dai Young. Well, young Billy Sell's done some very good things in this game, but that was a pass that was never really on. It was very well read by Henry Slade. Just have another look at this. There's definitely space out there, but Slade stays in the passing channel, and Billy Sell gives him a, a gift. He still had plenty to do, mine, but the Wasps attack was so far ahead. He's got to take the contact there with Devoto, and as I said, Searle's done some very good things, but that was a pass that was never on, and Exeter now got some daylight between themselves and Wass, and they've got, at the very least, a try bonus point. He's just so decisive what he does. The one thing I probably didn't realise is how quick he was. Elliot Daly's chasing him down, he's getting nowhere near. Brilliant start, brilliant start. Oh, no, second he's clearing, some digging work done by Dave Atwood. Once more, and Witten was up quickly, forces the mistake, and Slade charging away. It's Slade against Cook, a despairing dive, and now he's got to try and beat Atkins as well. Atkins gets across and does brilliantly, but still the danger's there. Kvesic, surely they have to score if they open it to the right-hand side. And now it's Witten once more, and, oh, that's defence has got across somehow, but then Jack Knowles slides in. And that's the end of the debate. Check, check, check. And it has been a devastating 15 minutes for Exeter. Just want to check the ground. Just, stand by. just wonder whether Jack Noel grabs this with downward pressure. Yes, no problem there. It's so, fine, mate. How about the run from Slade? Wonderful pickup off his bootlaces from the knock-on from Bath. And then the turn of pace. Bath uh, didn't quite get this right. Look at that, picks it up. Completely and how about this for pace? Really opens his legs up. Stays on his feet. Rides that first tackle, gets caught, but then has the foresight to throw the ball back, and then it's always numbers. Witten can't quite make it, can't quite get there, but again, somehow he frees up that offload to Jack Knoll, and he's got the strength to get over the line. A really, really good try. From the last 10 minutes of the game, this, the last 10 minutes of all games this season, that's Darren Atkins trying to that. That's a huge hand off. Eat my hand from Henry Slade. But look at Ian Witten. One, two tackles. He's able to evade to get the ball away to Jack Knoll. That was nicely taken. This time it's once in the middle. You see Babio there. Captain here for Cast is making a real nuisance of himself. Did he just get a little warning there by referee Lacey? The ball had popped out the back there. Lacey hadn't noticed though. He might have to go upstairs and have a look because I don't think John Lacey knew where the ball was. No, I don't think many people did. Babio did really well. He contested in the air. Big gamble at this stage against such a such a good drive like Exeter have. But because he landed in the middle of the mall. He was okay to come through and try and get his hands on it. Yes, John. Another look. Try yes or no, please. Well, there we go. That's the question. Try yes or no. That was yes. the scramble that came through from Kvesic. Now, I think he was trying to get it closer to the posts and saying he was, didn't ground it there. Did he actually finish it off? He does well just to sneak through there. <laughs> well, he does touch he does. it down there. I think he was trying to go even further, but if they are happy with that more, John, try. Yes, we may award the try, and it's the first grounding. Yep, the first grounding try. Well done, Matt Kvesic. How he got through the middle, I do not know, but it worked for him. It opened up nicely, saw a bit of space in front of him. Thought Christmas would come early. Well, Matt Kvesic has already scored three tries this season, and that one has to be the sneakiest of the lot. Nobody saw it. The referee was napping. He was giving another decision, and uh, Cast almost opened, didn't they, the floodgates Sorry, to let him through. Look at Christoph Uras's okay, face. Okay. I can't swear in French, but Sorry, I'm sure he's frustrated. White again, and this is Dolman. And uh, Lees, he's done well. Dave Dennis was there in support, and this is really nice. Kvesic, that close, 
to a Chiefs response. Held up for Steenson. Gives it wide to Cordero. Steps back inside and scores. Oh, he's been doing that all season. And he's been doing it brilliantly. Just what the Chiefs needed. Oh, that's a brilliant passage of play from Exeter. Cordero finishes it off with a stunning step. But he gets that opportunity because it's all momentum with the Chiefs. Coming from the speed of delivery from Nick White, he's added a huge amount of impetus to this Chiefs side. But look at that, four players all stepped, scrambling, trying to fill the space on the outside. And Cordero, no one better off their right foot. Absolutely stunning score. Lovely pass from Tavoto, wasn't it? Steenson takes it well, puts it right on a plate. Good there, and as you said, the first step's good, second step's brilliant. Maybe gets the Chiefs back into it. It's been all Bristol to that point, but it just shows that when extra can put multi phase together, how strong they are. and into the midfield they pour oh the ball I think he thought someone might be joining him there Sam James and that's why the pass was cocked up but Cordero was on it in a flash offload lovely skill from Oli Devoto I tell you what we shall have a look at it but if this is a try just to check all this for me so Stewie can you hear me any reason I can feel we've got a try, so we just check any reason mate, that we can't award this try, please. Okay, yep. The, the quick thinking of Oli Devoto there to adjust. A lovely little poke through from Steenson, and it sat up. An absolute treat for Cordero, presence of mind there. Wowee. Oli Devoto almost looks as incredulous as we do. Yeah, and it goes backwards as well. And it's a question as to whether Cordero is in touch here. That Offload, good. good backwards. Let's wait for Stewie. Make sure there's no touch. Knee. <coughs> oh, I just need to see the crack. Goal, mate, yeah. yeah, just going to check for touching goal. That, I think so he's that in the fine. air there. That looks OK. We'll just check touching goal here. <laughs> So what the uh, director and TMO are doing at the moment, they're checking the time codes of the frames to make sure that from behind and the frame matches up with the front frame, if you see what I mean. And they're just okay, trying to work out exactly where match. the knee is. Yeah, so you've knees, got both cameras across? We've got, we got both cameras and his knee's just above the line as he grounds it. So it's above the line, so you, I may award the try. You can, yeah. Thanks, Jerry. <clears throat> it's a try. Pepper, brought down by Dan Cole, White for Simmons, Slade at speed, scything through Slade, George Ford to beat, he's going around the outside and delivers the scoring pass, it's Devoto, but Henry Slade coming steaming through the middle, nobody laid a finger on him, Devoto the beneficiary. It's a beautiful line by Henry Slade. We spoke about his influence in the first half, and you just see usually he's fading on that pass, but this time he changes up to a short line, and the speed at which he comes through, and then just lays it on a play for Devoto. It's brilliant play, and just the speed at which he changes his angle. It's Brendan O'Connor leaves him for dead. And then the finish on the end, Devoto in great support. It's a wonderful try, great play all round. Well, it is a, a potent combination, isn't it, Devoto and Slade? And when he's in this sort of mood, he's such a silky runner, such a balanced runner, Topsy. He's a proper Rolls Royce, isn't he? Absolutely. And he's developing to, to an all round player as well. We, we know his abilities as a ball player with ball in hand, with kicking as well, but he's added a bit of extra punch as well so he can carry, he can get stuck in, he can do the dirty work. and. I say that ability to normally fade on that pass to straighten up and hit a shorter line off that ball out the back. It's a brilliant change up and no wonder the defence couldn't handle it. Slade with the break, Devoto with the finish. Lethal. Inside and outside, George Ford did well because he got to the 
He got to the ankles of Devoto, but it just wasn't quite enough.